Hello, everyone. Today, I want to talk about an issue that is of great importance to me and that I believe is crucial for the future of technology. That issue is diversity and representation in the tech industry. We all know that technology is changing the world around us at an unprecedented rate. We see new innovations daily that have the power to transform our lives for the better. However, as we make these new advancements, we need to ensure that they are benefiting everyone. This means that we need to have diverse voices in, this in the seats contributing to the development of this new technology. You see, it's no surprise that the tech industry is not diverse. The majority of tech innovators are white, male, and come from privileged backgrounds. This means that the experiences of these marginalized communities are often not included in the development of this new technology. Currently, in the tech industry, only 7% of the entire industry is made up of black people. And even more shockingly, only 3% of the entire industry is made of black females. You see, when I tell people about this issue, I often hear a multitude of closed-minded remarks. Well, girls just aren't interested in things like that. Or, it comes more naturally to boys. While in some cases, this may be true, from my experiences, and many others like me, this is usually not the case at all. You see, I used to be just like you. I used to think, how could these women who are speaking up about these experiences be complaining so much? The STEM industry can't possibly be that bad. Despite having a mother who graduated from UCLA's prestigious engineering program with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and computer science, she left the university and experienced so much misogyny that she completely shifted career paths. Nevertheless, my mother never gave me the impression that I couldn't pursue any career path that I desired. But now that I'm in the beginning stages of these harsh experiences, I can say firsthand that these women who spoke up about their experiences in the STEM industry, they were not exaggerating. You see, no one wants to have the uncomfortable conversations. No one wants to talk about how disheartening it is to hear snarky comments being passed around in group chats, or the laughter that ensues when you ask a question in class. No one wants to talk about the sigh you receive when you're partnered for a group project, or the refusal to share notes when you miss a class. But these are just the layers of being a girl in computer science. The other layer of discrimination that I have to face Every single day comes from being black. Of course you're going to get into a good college, Layla. You're literally black. Of course they chose you for that award, Layla. You're black, remember? It's an experience that I hope no one has to go through, but I can honestly say that now that I'm in it, I'm extremely grateful because it, because it has made me extremely resilient. You see, I choose to keep going through the suffering because I want to make it easier for the next black girl down the line. I choose to keep jumping through the hurdles because I want to do it for my mother, who has sacrificed everything to get me where I am today, and I want to avenge her when no one else would. I choose to keep asking questions in class because I want to learn all the necessary material to pursue a subject that I love. I choose to keep showing up because I want a seat at the table to contribute to the development of technology that has historically excluded my community. Let me give you an example. Facial recognition technology has become increasingly prevalent in today's society. It's used in social media platforms, security systems, and even in the hiring process. However, there have been multiple studies that show that this type of technology has a bias against people of color especially those with darker skin tones. This is because the data sets used to train the facial recognition algorithms are made up predominantly of white faces. If we had more diverse voices working on the development of this new technology, we would see more wi a wider range of technology that can be used by everyone. 
But it's not just about developing technology that's fair and unbiased. It's also about developing technology that is accessible to everyone. There have been multiple instances where people with disabilities can't use apps and websites that have user interfaces that are not accessible to them. If we had more diverse teams working on the development of this new technology, we would see more user-friendly, accessible products that can be used by everyone. So what can we do to increase diversity and representation in the tech industry? Well, the first step is acknowledging that we have a problem. We need to actively seek out and hire people from majority. We need to actively seek out and hire people from ma marginalized groups so that we can give them the opportunities that they never had. Second, we need to create inclusive workspaces that create a culture of respect and openness so that everyone feels comfortable sharing their ideas and perspectives. Last, we need to actively seek out these underrepresented groups and give them access to the education and skills they need to succeed in the tech industry. Ultimately, the development of technology should not be limited to a select few. It should be a collaborative effort where everyone feels comfortable sharing their ideas and perspectives. By prioritizing diversity and representation in the tech industry, we can create a better future for all. And that's a future I want to be a part of. Thank you.